boys and girls. I thought it would be interesting to learn a little bit for art history about Frida Kahlo. She is known as the artist who painted herself because she painted lots of self-portraits of herself. So here is a self-portrait she made and it said she had Diego on her mind. Diego Rivera was her Frida Kahlo's husband, and he was a mural artist, and we'll talk about him in a little bit. But um, look at that detail, not only of her face, but the face of him that she made as well. And this is a costume um, that was one of her favorites. Here is another self-portrait, self-portrait with a braid. You can see the braid in her hair and this interesting necklace. It says, Frida never smiled in any of her paintings. She liked to paint her eyebrows to look like the wings of a bird. And she's the artist that was really known for having very thick um, hair and thick eyebrows. And so when you see her kind of portrayed as a cartoon, she has kind of that one eyebrow. So Frida Kahlo is from Mexico. She is Mexico's most famous woman artist. The paintings she did of herself are called self-portraits. She puts bright colored ribbons and flowers through her thick braids and wore earrings and necklaces made of jade and silver. She wore tons of rings on her fingers and just loved dress up. This is Frida's family tree. Frida was born in Mexico on July 6, 1907. Her mother was from Mexico and her father came from Germany. He was a photographer and she had three sisters. She was her father's favorite. The family lived in a small town near Mexico City. They called their house Casa Azul. Any ideas what that means? Yep, that's Spanish for blue house. Frida painted herself as a little girl standing in the courtyard of the Blue House. And she uses a red ribbon to tie herself as her family, or tie herself to her family. So if we go back, you can see the Blue House and the red ribbon to tie herself to her family. When Frida was six, she got very sick. She had a disease called polio. She couldn't walk and she had to stay in bed for almost a year. She was by herself a lot like many of us right now, and she made up a pretend friend. The friend didn't speak, but she laughed and danced, and Frida told her all her secrets. When Frida was better, her right leg was very thin, and her father made her ride a bicycle and swim, but her leg was still thin, and all the school kids teased her. They called her Frida Pato Apola, Frida Peg Leg. Frida wore long skirts to hide her leg. That's not very kind. Frida went to another school when she was 15. She met new friends and they called themselves the caps for red caps they wore. They liked Frida because she was funny and did crazy things. Once a famous painter was at the school working on a big picture that he was painting on the wall. Big picture painting on the wall. This is called a mural. Diego Rivera. So she met the man that she married as someone that was working at the school painting murals. Frida was 18 when she was badly hurt in a bus accident. She had to stay in bed again for a long time. Frida had never thought about painting. She thought she might actually be a doctor. But one day her mother gave her some paints and brushes and put a big mirror in the canopy over her bed. Frida could look up and see her face, so she started to paint pictures of herself. Frida stayed at home for two years. She painted over 24 paintings of herself, her sisters, and her friends. When Frida got better, she took four of the paintings to Diego Rivera. Remember the guy that was painting the mural on the wall? She didn't really know him, but she remembered him painting that big picture at her school. She found him and there he was, still painting big pictures on the wall. Frida 
called up to him, Diego, Diego, come down. And he did. I think she was so brave to do that. Look at this beautiful picture of her. Diego looked at her paintings and he said he liked the one of her in a velvet dress. That's the one I'm showing you here. It's original, he said. He meant that she hadn't copied another artist's way of doing a painting. He told her to go home and do another painting and he would go to her house the next Sunday to look at it. Here's Frida and Diego on their wedding day. They ended up getting married. So he went and he looked at that painting and two years after that, Frida and Diego got married. Frida's father called them the elephant and the dove. And that's maybe why she put a dove right there in her picture. So she painted a picture of her and her husband. Frida and Diego went to San Francisco. That's in California. Diego had a job working on murals there. Frida met new people and she painted some of them. A man named Dr. Leo Alessar became her doctor and her good friend. And that's a painting of him. Here's another one. Sometimes Frida's paintings look like weird dreams. But Frida said, I never painted dreams. She said she just painted what she saw. I think she meant what she saw in her imagination. At first, the paintings below look very strange, but it is of a scientist named Luther Burbank. He was famous for growing new kinds of plants. So it makes sense that Mr. Burbank is in a painting with lots of trees. It's kind of interesting how his legs are kind of connected to the roots and the roots are what suck up information and you've got a body here kind of that the roots are sucking up. Frida and Diego left San Francisco and then went to New York and Detroit. So they were from Mexico and then they moved to the United States. Frida missed home though and in New York she painted My Dress Hangs Here. She's not wearing the dress, so where is she? Maybe she's wishing she was back in Mexico. After three years, Frida and Diego finally took a boat home. So you've got the Statue of Liberty here, the New York City skyscrapers, and this was Mae West, who was a big movie star, and then the dress. Here's another beautiful self-portrait, and look at the hand earring. Frida and Diego went on trips and visited other countries. Once Frida went to Paris, which is in Europe, met the famous painter Pablo Picasso. He taught her songs and gave her clear earrings the shape of the hand, one for each ear. That's pretty cool. This is a picture of Frida's blue house and garden. In 1941, Frida and Diego moved to the blue house where Frida was born. So full circle, they went back to where she was from. They painted the front of the house a really deep blue that in Spanish is called Azul Anil. This was supposed to keep out the evil spirits. They added green and red around the doors and windows. She grew lots of plants there and flowers. She kept parrots and birds. They were all over the courtyard. And so she used a lot of her animals in her paintings as well. She loved the blue house with Diego. She cooked there, she laughed. Friends and family came to eat. They talked, they argued, they sang late at night. And Frida painted in the studio that Diego built for her. Look at that photograph. Frida loved holidays, especially a Mexican holiday called Day of the Dead. Miss Samson loves that holiday too. It takes place on two days, November 1st and 2nd. Every year, Frida decorated the table with candles and garden flowers, and she put all her mother and father's favorite foods on the table with the sugar skulls and animals, skeletons, paper mache. So we call that an ofrenda. It's an offering 
to the photos of the families that have passed away, kind of similar to the movie Coco. Okay, here's Frida, now look at her. She's in a wheelchair painting a picture of a man. And that's her doctor. It sounds as if what I'm telling you, Frida had a pretty good time in life, but she wasn't. Ever since that bus accident, she was in a lot of pain. So her body hurt, but she still went out and lived her life and did lots of fun things and painted her life and the people that she saw in herself. She had 32 operations and she had to wear a brace um, or a corset, so that's kind of around her chest. And that's probably why she wore the long skirts to hide her legs. You know, when people make fun of people, um, their feelings get hurt and they become what's called insecure or a kind of self-conscious. So maybe those kids that hurt her feelings made her not really want to show her legs. As, and so that's why she always wore this long skirt and she's covering up, you know, the medical corset that she had to wear. Um, but she painted her doctor because she said, he saved me and he brought me the joy of living. So boys and girls, remember, it's always important to be nice because even if you say something mean as a child, it could hurt someone's feelings so much that it could affect how they feel about themselves as an adult. Here's a picture of um, Frida's bed. And so you can see the artwork and the paintings that she kept, photographs of her family. And even though she was in bed because her body hurt, she still dressed up with ribbons and flowers and the jewelry, just like she included in her paintings. Such a beautiful woman. Here's another painting. And some of her paintings, so many of her paintings are of herself and they're all different. So think about that, like if I asked you to paint a picture of yourself, how would you do that so many times that they'd all be different? Some make me feel sad and some make me laugh. Some make me wonder where she got her ideas because they are so strange, like this one. So if you look carefully, you've got her heart and her veins and they're connecting to each other. You've got scissors and her holding on. Here you see a painting of a bunch of watermelons. It was one of the last paintings that Frida did. She was just 47 years old when she died in the year 1954. And in this painting, it says, Viva la vida. And that means live a long life. I hope you enjoyed learning about Frida Kahlo. And I hope you enjoy your first week of May and creating some of the artwork I sent over and Cinco de Mayo. Remember to be respectful, be responsible, be kind, stay safe, and stay creative. See you next time.